Hi there, this is a, a follow on really from uh, video um, 37 where I created a view shed with 3D Analyst and here you can see those results, those green areas that I can see. So this is a raster layer, it's this, turn that on and off, if I go to properties you can see that um, this is just uh, you know a normal raster layer uh, where uh, the green is uh, uh, a visible cells on the surface of the raster uh, from this point. But really what I'd like to do is, is turn this into vectors, into polygons, so I can uh, then use those polygons for uh, vector analysis. For example, show me all the features or count features that are within uh, these polygons. But of course they're not polygons at the moment, they're ju it's just raster data. So, I've actually, j just to show you on extensions I've turned off 3D Analyst and Spatial Analyst uh, because Raster to Polygon which is a tool we're using is actually uh, a default tool in our toolbox so if you look under conversion tools from Raster you can go Raster to Polygon double click on that select my view shed which is this one so that's, uh, that's that there view shed uh, any attribution, I, I've just got a value in, in there, that's all it was created, i.e. 0 or 1. Uh, and I'll, I'll just, I don't know, I'll, I'll call it what I like. I'll call it uh, um, Polygon Raster View Shed, just to show you. <coughs> Click OK. And Geoprocessor again, as usual, you see in the bottom right, it's complete. I've got a green tick. Click on the tool there, Raster Polygon. You get all the results here, the geoprocessing results, what the inputs were, parameters, etc. Now we we get this, we get this big uh, purple area because that, of course, is where uh, data is. Um, the cells are not visible, and and these polygons here, if I click, you can see it highlights them. So these were all the raster um, raster areas. In fact, if I just turn that on, and then I can do a swipe on my, uh, let's say, on the polygon raster view, and take the swipe tool, and you can see it underneath. So you can see how I'm um, just swiping down uh, the, uh, the the new vector layer, and underneath it is the rasters. Where they, where they were created. So, if if you wanted at this point, so I have I have got the vectors. And like, like I said, when I use the info tool and click, you can see it highlights a um, uh, a, a polygon, and um, and you can just as expected change it. As you can see, you can change the symbol and stuff as expected. What you what you may want to do is say, well, actually. Okay, the size of that SRTM, which was this, which fills that whole area, uh, obviously is a, is a big area, and I'm only interested in these polygons, so where I can't see, I, I just want to get rid of. So you could just edit and um, go for it. I, I've, I haven't set all the coordinate systems here, so I get a few messages. And then I uh, can select. You see how it's all highlighted, the edge. Press delete. Save the edits, stop editing. So now I've just got the visible areas. So you can see those uh, polygons, which are um, can now be used for whatever uh, vector analysis tools you wish to use. And like I said, that's actually a tool, Raster Polygon, that is not in the extensions. So you, so that's a tool that's already in there. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.